All right. So this is uh, I'm just recording the screen for this Seco app. Okay. So I went to their website. You can see this is what it looks like. And if you look at their app, it's exactly the same thing. So what does that tell you? They're using HTML5 rather than using native, um, uh, the, the, rather than a uh, native uh, uh, phone app. This is for uh, Android though. Okay, so the other thing I really dislike them is if you search for something, a new screen pops up. Right, so that's kind of odd because you would imagine, you know, the the lower portion of the screen would refresh, but the top line wouldn't go away. Um, and then the search takes very long because uh, partly because what? Okay, anyway, partly because of this is um, in. China and I am in US so let's search for something else uh, let's do uh, that see what they get again search takes really long and they did not find anything and they said you can add a WeChat um, customer service to help you find the stuff you want and there I guess you like something does not show up either uh, so that their tech is very suspicious again you can it's it gets pretty annoying and um, yeah Did not find anything again. That is weird because they definitely do have things. Oh, there you go. I don't know why sometimes they show up, sometimes they don't. But every time you click, the entire screen refreshes. Uh, let's say we want a pen. Takes three clicks. I clicked that three times. And you can filter, let's say we want to do something. Okay. Again. All right, okay, let's get rid of those two. Get rid of that. All right. In terms of pricing, And it says that my internet is bad. Please reload. Like, what the hell? Um, maybe this will be better in China. I don't know. This is uh, Mont Blanc uh, 145. 145 should be piston filled. Uh, oh, it's not piston. It's converter. All right. What do they say? How much is that? 3,000 yen. Oh my god. Every time you click anything, it goes... I just click something and it goes crazy. Oh. Look at this. If you screw up a little bit and leave your screw, your finger... go. I don't know who designed this app. This is stupid. Um, it, it's The price is about $500 which is comparable to what you would pay here in the US. And it says you will get 10x points and then you can use it later. Uh, so a bit like eBay points. And then there is this uh, multi, um, the, what do you call this? Uh, uh, installment payment. And what else do they have? That's about it. Some pictures. Okay. So what else is there? Hmm. 
Duh. Takes so long. Some coupons. This is just a roller uh, ballpoint. Price is about the same as what you find here in the US. Anyway, the other thing I found that was surprising, given how shitty their tech seemed to be, is um, if I have a Mont Blanc 149 here, and then they have this thing which allows you to um, look for a product by taking a picture. So let's take a picture. Let's see. Uh, this one didn't find it, but I it was able to find it previously. I don't know what's going on this time. Let's see. It was able to find it last time. I was quite surprised the first time I tried it, but ah, yeah, I found one four nine. See that? For about eight hundred dollars, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. But it takes a while, and if you let's say this is a a Mont Blanc wallet, it is. I mean, last time I tried, I was able to find the, at least the, the brand. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the brand. And I think this is, this may be it. So it's not exact to match, but it's pretty good. Especially when you take a picture of uh, the pen. Um, oh my. I still hate their app. Anyways, that's what I have for the app. We'll see what else I can find with regard to this company.